Hello, my name is Ellie Stevenson. I'm a neuro-oncology physiotherapist at Leeds General Infirmary. In this video, we want to shine a light on the allied health professionals involved in the awake craniotomy pathway. This is a complex neurosurgical procedure where brain tumours that sit either in or close to eloquent areas of the brain, parts important for function, are resected or biopsied whilst the patient is awake, allowing us to test movement, sensation, speech, vision and cognitive function in real time whilst the surgery is performed. AHPs are integral to this pathway and as AHPs we're involved before, during and after the surgical procedure at every stage of the patient's journey. As AHPs we've been involved in the pathway since it was created over 12 years ago and Leeds is now leading the way nationally in awake craniotomies. My primary role is a speech and language therapist working on the low grade awake craniotomy service is to assess um, patients' language pre-operatively, intraoperatively and post-operatively and to help them manage any deficits post-op. I'm also there as their, um, as their advocate and there to support them through the awake craniotomy process, there to explain how the process might work for them, what the operation entails and then to support them through the operation itself, helping them to manage their anxieties. So myself and um, the team of neuropsychologists that I work with meet people with low-grade gliomas who are going for awake surgery, hopefully shortly after diagnosis. We've got two main aims um, of assessing preoperatively. Firstly, we would want to assess somebody's different cognitive function. And secondly, we would want to assess um, how they're doing emotionally. And in terms of the awake craniotomy, that's in order to make sure that they're going to be able to manage that awake procedure safely and whether we need to do anything um, to support them with that before they go for that surgery. We also have a role following surgery in following those people up, um, checking whether there's been any change in any cognition um, and doing any rehabilitation that might be necessary afterwards and also working with people throughout the pathway in terms of their emotional well-being. So I assess visual function and visual fields during the awake surgery. Um, we monitor the visual function throughout the operation with the aim of maximising the surgical resection while preserving as much vision for the person so that they can maintain an independent life, working, driving especially. Um, the surgeon often finds that by being aware of the visual function throughout, it gives them additional confidence to keep, um, to keep operating to maximise the resection um, of the patient's tumour. We then also assess the patient six weeks post-operatively to ascertain how much effect there's been on the vision during the surgery. Physiotherapists are involved at all stages of the patient journey. From when we know the surgery is going to occur, we can provide pre-assessment and pre-habilitation to better prepare the patient for what they're going to experience. During the surgery, alongside our AHP colleagues and the surgeon, our continuous assessment and testing ensures the correct balance is struck between tumour removal and maintaining function. Then, from immediately after the surgery, we're there to assess any problems that the patient may have and provide an individualised plan to help improve function and quality of life. Leeds teaching hospitals have strong links between our inpatient and outpatient neuro-oncology therapy services and this means that if a patient still needs support when they leave hospital, there is a seamless transition of care. This involvement at every stage means that we can be prepared and the patient's needs can be met at the best time for them. This is unlike traditional therapy services which are usually just reactive once problems have already occurred. Occupational therapy assesses patients' cognitive, perceptual, visual and motor changes post-surgery we use standardised assessments and functional assessments in a meaningful way to ensure patient safety for discharge. We then refer on to neuro-oncology rehab services and local services to ensure that their goals are met within their own environment. Leeds Teaching Hospitals was given Tessa Jowell Centre of Excellence for Brain Tumour Care accreditation in 2021 and I was fortunate enough to be appointed to the Tessa Jowell Academy Founding Committee last year representing AHPs nationally. Um, through this, we've been able to network with other neuro-oncology centres all over the UK, sharing knowledge and, in some cases, helping AHPs to become established in awake craniotomies where they haven't previously been involved. And this has helped the Academy to tackle the disparity in this service nationally. 